Hi, it's Krista with Playing With a Purpose. We're just finishing up our unit on colors. The last two activities we did for our color unit related to weather. During Morning Circle, I read the story Over the Rainbow. To make it less abrupt when we finish a unit, I try to choose something that I can marry the two units together. This makes the transition more smooth for the children. After we read the story Over the Rainbow, I brought with me to circle some chalkboards and some colored chalk. I passed each student a chalkboard and we talked about the rainbow in the story. And I said, can you guys draw a rainbow with me? I wanted to do a directed drawing with them. This activity gives me a great opportunity to do an assessment on the children to see where they're at with their listening skills, to see if they're able to follow instructions. I told the children that we were going to start with the first color of the rainbow and then I asked the children what color of chalk I was holding. Then I modeled what I wanted them to do. We continued doing this for all six of the colors of the rainbow. As I drew it, I would say up and around. And I would use the same phrase over and over again. So the children might begin to repeat it for themselves. Up and around. Up and around. Up and around. I work with two-year-olds, so it definitely didn't come out looking quite like a rainbow, but they were able to see all the colors that were in a rainbow, and they were super proud. They really enjoyed this activity, and when they were finished, they wanted to try it again. I had these little baskets, and I just put a simple tag, dirty, and I used a brown tag for this, and clean. I had little cut up wipes in the clean side, so they took their wipe, and they washed their own board off and then they disposed of it in the dirty basket. I modeled how to clean our boards with a clean wipe and I showed them how dirty it was and I said we're going to put it in the dirty side like that. Just by adding that extra step it gives the children a sense of responsibility. It's really important to foster independence with children from an early age so that they understand they have responsibilities in this world such as taking care of themselves. The second activity we did was read Rain Rain Go Away and we sang the song. Then I brought a bowl of water and this little cloud toy. I purchased this at Chapters and it wasn't cheap, it was $15. So if you don't have a budget for this and you don't want to spend that kind of money, you could easily make your own um, in several different ways. You could, you could get a white container and poke holes in it or you could use some, some cotton balls and the children can squeeze. They're still using finger muscles when they're squeezing. When you fill the water into the cloud, you set it down under the water and you let it fill. Once it's full, you put your finger on the top of the cloud and it stops the water from coming out. I have this little Fisher Price person and he's all dressed up in a raincoat. So I wanted to grab him out so we could talk about the raincoat, what, what is the little boy wearing? You can talk to the children about how he's wearing similar clothes to the little boy in the story. And why do you think he's dressed like that? When you let go, it rains. This is a super cute activity. This little cloud is a great activity to work with children to help build on their self-discipline. A fun way to do this is to have the children cover up I find small children, it works best if they use their thumbs, but I use my pointer finger. And the children would go, and I would say stop. And then I would have the children stop the rain. Go, stop. 
that's really just the lesson and I just put this little guy in there because I thought it, he was cute because he was all dressed up for a rainy day and I will simply just put this out where the children can just play provide some some towels and they can just play with it once they've had an opportunity to experiment with it kind of figure things out on their own this is a great time where you can take a, a quick assessment of the children to see if their children are able to respond to the directions that you give. I hope these activities were useful for you and that you can use them in your classroom. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.